Hi, I'm Joanne and welcome back to Crafting with Confidence. If you love to crochet or you'd like to learn, then this video is for you. Today is just a few days before Christmas and I'm going to show you how to make one of these crocheted star decorations perfect to give to someone during the festive season. Each of these easy little projects will only take you about 10 to 15 minutes to create, so it's simple to crochet more than one while you're at it. By the way, I learned a nice little secret the other day when I went to Michael's to buy some yarn for this project. The yarn was already on sale, but when I stocked up with these, I was told the teachers always get an additional 15% off whatever they purchase. Not bad. Here's an example of a completed crocheted star decoration. There are three layers to this project, the first round inside section, the five-sided or pentagonal second section, and the last outside section where the five points of the star are created. My tools are really simple. Just a regular ball of acrylic economy yarn and a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. As with all crochet projects, I'm going to start with a slip knot. Then I'll place my crochet hook inside and will gently pull on the yarn until it's snug. To create the middle anchoring circle for this decoration, I'll make five chain stitches. Then I'll join these stitches to make a circle by pushing my crochet hook through stitch one and pulling through the yarn. This is called a slip stitch. And there is the inner circle to start the project. After the slip stitch, I'll make one chain stitch and then I'll begin the pattern of the first round, which is three double crochets followed by one chain stitch. For a double crochet, I grab one loop of yarn and then push my hook through the center, pull the yarn through, yarn over again, pull through two stitches, then yarn over one more time and pull through the last two stitches. Let's do that again, nice and slowly. I yarn over, push the hook through the center, pull the yarn through. Then I yarn over again, pull it through two stitches, and yarn over one last time, and pull through the last two stitches. We'll do that three times, and we'll end with a chain stitch. One, two, three, and chain stitch. I will now repeat this set of stitches, the three double crochets followed by a chain stitch, four more times. You'll notice there will be a little gap between each section so you can see how far you've gone. I'll know I've reached the end of this round when I've repeated the three double crochet plus one chain stitch combination a total of five times. Then I'll join to the top of my first double crochet with a slip stitch. Now I have a nice five section round with five openings evenly spaced around the sides. Now I'll move on to round two of my star. Keeping my project the same way, I never flip it over, I'll make one chain stitch and will then start the round two pattern. In the first gap to the left, I'll crochet the following. Three double crochets. Two chains. And three more double crochets. Then I'll move to the next gap and we'll do the same. After I've completed the 3-2-3 pattern and all five openings, the project is now shaped like a pentagon. I'll join the pentagon together by making a slip stitch between the first double crochet I made in round two with the last stitch I've just created. And there's the finished round two. As always, I start the next round with one chain stitch. Now I'll be working the round three pattern into each of the five points of this pentagon. This will be a lot like round two, except this time I'll make four double crochets, three chains, 
and four more double crochets at each point. In the side opening between points, I'll just do one single crochet, which will make an anchoring stitch between the points of the star. Then it's back to the same pattern again four more times. In each point, I'll do four double crochets. Three chains and four more double crochets. And in each side gap, I'll make an anchoring single crochet. You can see the star point starting to take shape. And now I'll continue with this pattern until I finish the fifth point. Having crocheted around all five points, I need to remember to do my last anchoring single crochet. Then I'll slip stitch into the first double crochet of round three and we'll end my project. I'll then weave in and clip the two end bits of yarn, and if I wish, I can create a hanging tassel with an extra piece of yarn. And here's the finished star. Once you've made one, I'm sure you'll want to make more of them. Thanks so much for joining me to make this crocheted star decoration. If you would enjoy this video, please press like and subscribe to my channel so you can create other craft projects with me in the future. And as always, keep crafting with confidence.